All right, time to check in with Jennifer Shack, see what's coming our way. Uh, Jennifer, thankfully, uh, none of that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, nothing too intense. We had some flurries flying today and definitely the cloud cover, and that's going to play an impact on our temperatures. Note this morning we dropped off to 21 for a low. Because of extra clouds lingering today, we're only going to climb up to 29 for an afternoon high today. It stays cold through the stretch today. We should be the average highs at 43, average low temperature at 28 degrees. We've had flurries flying through the night along with our cloud cover. We've grabbed just enough moisture off of Lake Michigan again within our clouds to bring in some of those flakes and we get those temperatures colder. It's easier to uh, mount those snowflakes within the cloud cover. So we've had a few of them through the night, a skim of snow in spots. It may be on a couple of back roads, so just use a little bit of caution uh, if you run into that today. But overall, this should be a drying trend into our afternoon. So satellite and radar showing a couple of those batches of flakes within the cloud cover have not seen the clouds really erode much so far, but we will see some holes and some breaks in the clouds through our afternoon, even some sunshine peeking through our WLWT radar. The current run note a couple a little bit of blue returns there southern Brown County that are sliding southeast, but this is the last 12 hours of radar imagery and note we had no organized snow showers, no uh, heavier bands out there during the night. They were just basically fleeting flakes as we made it all the way through this morning. Nothing prominent showing up on the radar. So just those kind of prolonged overnight light flurries uh, amounting to a skim or a dusting for most of the region. Our city cam shot right now. Visibility improving a little bit did drop off to around five miles earlier. We're seeing a few breaks in the clouds right now. We're at 23, a west wind at 12 miles an hour. Factor in that wind chill only feels like 12 degrees. We're going to struggle to get that wind chill out of the teens this afternoon, if at all. So temperatures within the 275 loop are pretty uniform, 24, 25 degrees. It is a cold Friday midday as some high pressure works its way in. It's dragging in some cold air on the north side of it with that clockwise rotation around high pressure. It's getting enough of that moisture off of Lake Michigan. We had the overnight flakes. They're diminishing today, especially as that high pressure gets closer. That'll start to break down that weather pattern. So note they still have lake effects, no showers, but they're little, moving a little bit more east off the Great Lakes as we head through our day today and not southeast into our direction. So we end up with the clouds breaking up this afternoon. That trend continues for our overnight and for tomorrow morning. Then under partly cloudy skies, temperatures likely to be a little bit colder. We'll likely start off Saturday in the teens and then Saturday afternoon high temperatures into the low 30s. We do have some snow taking shape across the Midwest Saturday evening. We're going to watch it closely, but models have been pretty consistent the last couple of days to bring it to about the I 70 corridor and not any farther south into our region for Saturday night into Sunday. And then we end up on the warmer side of a system on Sunday that will bring in some rain eventually. 29 for a high temperature today. A few of those flakes still flying for our midday. They'll continue to fade though through the afternoon. It will stay cold. Those bitter wind chills persist. We drop off to 17 by tomorrow morning. Probably gonna be the coldest morning of the stretch. 32 on Saturday afternoon. Partly cloudy sky, still a cold day, but some sunshine mixing in should help quite a bit. By Sunday, we'll watch the timing for some precipitation precipitation to start off. We do have temperatures making it up to around 41, but with late rain into our evening as we start to drop off those temperatures, we'll make sure we don't have a rain snow mix to start and then transition to rain. We have rain into our Monday forecast as well. Also watching that transition out as the precipitation ends to make sure it doesn't have a rain snow mix as well. But most of this will definitely come down the form of rain 41 on Monday. So a mild couple of days up where we should be and another Arctic outbreak comes in by Wednesday that could bring back some snow shower chances and a few more fl flurries flying Thursday highs in the mid 20s by mid next week. Mark. All right, Jen, thank you. When we